Okay, what do we got here, Doc? Uh, these are the terminal plates that we attach the tubes to. Uh, we have one plate that fits our 3 8 insert tube, and another one fits the half inch out outside tube. And uh, this is where they uh, we weld them onto the tubes, or the tubes onto them with uh, TIG welding. You're over unity with this. Uh, would you tell me what that means? The amount of energy that you put in would be unity. We're running about 210% over unity, which means we're getting about uh, a little better than double uh, what we put into it. You're making a pretty incredible statement. A lot of people say, you can't get more than what you put in. And you're saying, well, we are. Well, people assume that's a general uh, rule of physics. If you make the physics work for you, we've, we've had great successes. We'll, uh, we'll go out to the lab. This is our test module when we wanted to originally test this. Uh, we did it in a, a little smaller compact version to get the numbers on it, basically to decide just how long of tubes we could put. By this model, we established that about 16 inches would be maximum. This is a good example of the uh, tubes that's in our most current prototype. And it's probably going to be pretty hard to see on camera but the clearance there is 010. The water that goes in here, 70% of it is converted by the time it comes out the top into hydrogen, as opposed to the 8 to 10% that we got by any other method. This is a 300 amp alternator. And you notice these big wires. That's a 1 gauge wire coming to the battery from the alternator, and these are 4 gauge coming to, amp it's relay. a 200 amp relay uh, coming to a how many cell dry cell? That's uh, it's 41 plates. A 41 plate dry cell. And we're going to, as you see here, going to do a little welding experiment. Slice that can in half. As the water enters the bottom and heads towards the top, it's electrolyzed. As the, the hydrogen is re released from it, uh, its specific gravity lowers. So the further up the tube it gets, the more release you get for the amount of electricity that you put in it. As the uh, electrolyte charges, or the water charges, as it moves up in the tube, the more water is converted into hydrogen, the lesser the specific gravity of the water. It takes less electricity to convert it into the hydrogen. So by the time it reaches the top of the tube, it's taken hardly anything to convert it. You might not be over unity here. No. It might take really a little more energy to turn to some things into hydrogen. But by the time you have specific gra gravity working it is reduced. for reduced, yeah. And you get to the top of the tube. And by this part right here, it's re reduced. So much of that water has been converted to hydrogen, the remaining water its gravity is reduced and it's more ready to let go of its molecules. It's easier to break it up once it's been that far charged. By the time it gets up here, uh, it's releasing up to 70% of its energy with hardly any electricity at all. It's so you're saying up here is where the way up over there is where it's getting real close. On. Anything, by this we decided the overall length. And once we adjusted the overall length and the one we have out on the chest bench now, by the time it reaches the top, it's converting almost 100%. Here's the actual temperature of the electrolyte. Uh, right now the electrolyte's running at 95 degrees. Uh, we haven't had any over-temp problems. 
uh, mainly because we've only added very little electrolyte. It's taken one gram of KOH per gallon of water, you know, all the electrolytes that we needed to add to get this thing up to uh, this kind of amperage and, and, and uh, production rate. Mark. Mark. Six. All right, let's do a test. Ready? Go. Okay, get that down there. Yeah, right there. 